is a book review of The Great Balls of Fire. Nothing to do with the song. It's by the brilliant science fiction writer Harry Harrison. And this is a history of sex science fiction illustration. So it covers sort of comics-ish. Not much, but a little bit. But mainly science fiction. So this came out in 1977 and it's by Big O Publishing in London. It's not a huge book, it's 120 pages, uh, but it does cover a lot of, it's got obviously lots of colour pics all the way through it. The Sex Queen of Outer Space. Then you've got obviously uh, lots of examples of comic strips as well as other comic strips. Thrilling Wonder Stories, Man Thing, you've also got some more pictures of strange relations you've got but it's got it's got a great lot of text lots of information about tentacles hookers suckers etc planet stories and it's it's good it's good it's, it's does cover metal i mean those magazines were always great metal herland loved metal herland or heavy metal of course as it was in the states a matter of plumbing the uh, robots and machine men should sow such a burning interest that's true but there's a lot, so there's, I don't know why, probably Doc Doom is suddenly put in there. He isn't a robot for a start. Uh, so it's uh, rockets. More interesting to play, you think about rockets. I never, ever, ever looked at it like that. Maybe that's just my naivety. However, I never thought, you know what, that rocket is, there's another meaning to it. I love this one as well. You've got the grey lensman. I love E.E. Doc Smith. Well, actually, I did when I was younger. I haven't read him for years. He's probably brilliant. Actually, I maybe I should really read him again. Metal Hurling again. Some uh, very interesting pictures. And it's full of quite some very unusual pictures. Some great art and maybe not some brilliant art. Startling stories. Beware the clutching hand. Phantom Lady. Brilliant Esteban Morato. I love Esteban Morato. But I love, I don't, I mean, I, obviously his women are absolutely stunning. But I just love his artwork overall. His beautiful, the flowing artwork. Spanish artwork, just brilliant. Now, some other black princess of Varda. Now, you wouldn't want to meet her on a Vampirella, Drac, Draculina. There was Draculina there, of course. Vampirella comes in. There was this uh, series, uh, I think it only lasted two issues, and that was uh, Draculina. Um, yeah. Then you got Droulet. Droulet, I love his artwork. And Mobius, of course. Uh, the Lonely by Judas Merrill. For some weird reason, you've got a picture of Superman there, again, more Droulet, and some more brilliant comic book art there. The gates thrown wide, and some strips, actual comic strips, and lots more odd scenes. It's just full of great pics. It's obviously of its time. Obviously, everything's all before 1977, so there's many examples in here, 1940s, all the way through. But there's a lot of 1970s artwork here and it's it's great and uh well that's uh, just great some of these ones yeah maybe not everyone's purchase but if you're interested in that sort of period 1970s artwork i think this is just a nice little collection uh it's uh not particularly uh anything that sordid or anything it just but it is obviously sex in science fiction. And then there were a couple of other volumes, I can't remember what they're called. So, uh, something erotic comics or sex in comics. There's a lot, there's been, there's been a lot, these sort of books, a lot being about four. So this is obviously joins the collection, but they're just great if you love the illustrations and yeah, good little book. 